Hello everyone, Zeph Films here with a visual review. In this video we're going to be looking at the McGee uh, ship. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, this is this Discovery version of the Shran class uh, that you saw in the last visual review. Uh, so yeah, this is this is what it looks like. Uh, has more or less the same specs. There is a fleet version that's available, but I don't have that to go over the specs. Uh, but to really quickly go over, it's a 4-2 with an experimental weapon, a tactical console that does uh, this. It pretty much brings... Uh, let's take a quick look at that while that purple show is going. Uh, really quickly... Uh, pulls foes in front of you. Uh, foes within six kilometers are pulled in front of you, um, and uh, it does uh, negative 25 exotic damage resistance and control resistance for 10 seconds. It also has a T5 mastery. It's called Strike from the Shadow. Uh, decreased threat uh, generation by 60% plus 5% critical chance plus 5 bonus all damage. Uh, and this happens when you uh, when you're damaging a foe that doesn't have you targeted. Uh, it also has a secondary effect: uh, placate target for 12 seconds or until you deal 1,548 damage uh, to the jammed target. So that's a quick overview. If you want to see uh, uh, me go into it a little bit more, you can check out the Shran video. I'll have a link to that. Uh, hopefully in a card popping up here, if I've ever figured that out. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go to the ship tailor and take a look at the different uh, skins uh, that uh, we can apply to the ship and what they look like. Let's go! Alright, so here we are in the ship tailor. Uh, we are looking at the McGee template. And let's take a look through all the different uh, materials. So the first one that we're looking at here is uh, Discovery Era Starfleet Type 1. Uh, this is the skin that we uh, that was automatically applied when you select McGee. Uh, when you select Shran, it's Type 7. When you select McGee, it's uh, Discovery Era Type 1. And that was the skin that we just were looking at um, outside of Earth Space Dock. So let's go over to Type number 2. Type number 2 is a little bit lighter variation than the Type 1. The back uh, of the nacelles go from white to orange. Pretty cool. Let's go to type 3. Type 3, just a lot more noise on the hull. Uh, looks a little bit more antiquated. And, oh, and the back is blue. Going to type 4. Uh, a lot more pattern on the hull itself. Uh, ooh, looks like little, like a, I want to say a sunrise. Either a sunrise or a sunset. That's what I think of when I see that color. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot more um, pattern patterning on, on the hull itself. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, and then we got type 5. A lot lighter skull. Skull, oh my god. A lot lighter color hull. Um, a lot less... Uh, noise on the hull itself and we have yellow on the back of the nacelles um, out of all of them my favorite uh, out of like the out of the discovery era my favorite is the type 1 I, I rather like that one uh, but let's take a look at the other ones so we have the NX ooh the NX looks kind of badass actually <laughs> that looks good it's flipped upside down there we go so that's the NX. Don't really have a deflector to look at either, do we? NX refit. This one looks like a lot like the Discovery Era Type 5. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that now. There's a little uh, docking bay there <laughs> for your shuttles. Type 0. Oh, that looks good. I like the smoothness. I think I said that too, but the couple of ships um, in the past, the Type Zero, it's just it, it's a sh it's a skin that's really growing on me. But that looks really good. I like that. Uh, let's go to the Type One. Eh, type One's not bad. Not too bad.
Type 2. These are older skins, so... Yeah. Type 3. Four. Seems like uh, one to four is just like you get darker, darker, and darker. Uh, type five. Now we're getting lighter. Type six. Yeah, we're getting even lighter. Can't wait to see what type seven looks like on this, though. Type seven. Ooh. Uh, not bad. I I'm usually a big fan of the type seven, but the time seven time type seven uh seems to work better seems to work better with the newer ships. Uh the older like twenty two century ships like this one. Um it's twenty two or twenty third century. 23rd back in the 2200s <laughs> discovery era ships um and tos era ships uh these skins don't seem to work too well with them but it, it still looks cool it just it, it's more suiting for the newer ships the 2410 version uh let's take a look at type 8 yeah there's there's a type of pants that has this pattern on it, and it just screams 80s to me. I don't like it on this ship. <laughs> uh, type 8B, so pretty much just a darker version. And let's take a look at upgrade. Don't really notice anything. Nothing standout-ish. And veteran, no, <laughs> no, I no veteran looks horrible on this ship, in my personal opinion. So let's put it back to type one. Uh, again, uh, not too much you can do in the customization error uh, thing here. Uh, let's put the Shran hull on it. The Shran hull actually looks pretty cool with the McGee uh, nacelles. Um. That really actually looks like a steam runner right now. Wow. Yeah, that that yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And then the other one that I showed last time was oh yeah, the Shran cells. <laughs> the McGee Hall. Uh <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh we're gonna go to the Solene Dyson Sphere and uh, take a look at what the different rep shield uh, FX look like on the ship. Let's go there now. One disconnect later behind the scenes, and here we are at the Solene Dyson Sphere. Um, yeah, oh, there's the deflector. Oh, I didn't notice that at, uh, in Soul Space or in the, uh, the Taylor. So there's the deflector right there. That's, uh... Huh, this is why we come to this map, because the lighting is amazing. All right, let's jump into the shield review. The Gamma Rep Shield Array. Much purple. Very purpley. Yeah, see, now you can really see the deflector. You see that purple uh, outline around it. So let's try to keep an eye on that and see how it looks with, uh, with the different um, uh, shields. The, uh, the assimilated... <laughs> Deflector is gonna look interesting, methinks. <laughs> Next shield, the competitive rep shield array. Actually, I kind of like this one. There's the deflector again. I one thing about this ship that I really like is, um the design of like the front of these nacelles how like it doesn't have a um, like the red it, oh, I want to say like the red cover has been removed off of the uh, the bizarre collectors um, I really like this just it, it looks very like mechanical I guess it might not be the right word but 
it, I, I just like it kind of exposed like that. It's kind of cool. Next shield, the Lucari shield array. Fancy, very Tron. Nice shield. Yeah, you see the little light up stuff there. Very nice. Next shield, the temporal defense shield array. Much rainbow. So wow. Not one of the first visual or shields that I would throw on this ship for visuals, though. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. The Delta Alliance shield array. This one, I, I'm actually kind of digging on this ship. The green doesn't bother me too much because it's not overpowering and it's not too much. Um, the gray kind of works because we already had kind of a dark gray theme going with the Type 1 uh, Discovery skin. Um, that green outline on the on the deflector actually looks pretty cool too. So yeah, th we have a really good color balance here. I like this a lot. Next shield, the Gem Hadar shield array. This is another one of like, this shield has been around for a while. Uh, it's from the 2800 series. So this is before lighting 2.0. It's not a shield that I ever really liked visual wise or stat wise for that matter, but um, yeah, that's what it looks like on this ship. Next one, the Riemann Shield Array. That is way too much chrome. Way too much chrome. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at it with uh, Lighting 2.0 turned off. And here it is with Lighting 2.0 turned off. Um, I don't think it works with this ship, for me personally. It's just... It's a small ship, and I, I think it just makes it too dark. So, especially if you're zoomed out far away, like we're in field of view 20 right now, but now it just kind of feels like kind of just a black spot on the screen. Um, so yeah, a little bit, whoa, that's too close. A little bit too dark for my liking, but somebody else might like it. This is all subjective next shield. The Aegis shield array. I like this one. It's subtle yet nice. <laughs> The, uh, the outlining is, you, it's actually a little bit more defined in this ship. On some other ships, when you put the Aegis, this blue lining is kind of like, it, it's hard to make out. But for some reason on this ship, it actually, it's a little, like it stands out a little bit more. I like it. Less is more sometimes. <laughs> Next shield, the Dyson shield array. Um, I like this one. I'm digging it. Actually, there's the deflector. Um, again... It's actually a nice color combo. Uh, the purple on here is a nice accent. Uh, we have two main colors going on, kind of the gray and then the white marble finish. So yeah, I, I actually like the shield on here. Next one, the Mako shield array. So this is usually one of my favorite shields. Uh, well, it was in the past. Uh, this one, eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Next one, the Nakura Shield Array. Um, yeah, no. Not jiving with me on this one. I know with this, uh, with this skin or the shield, uh, the deflector is usually really bright. So we're gonna see how it is right now. No, it's just a yellow outline on this one. So, eh, yeah, it's it's looked worse on other ships. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. The counter command shield array. Uh, I'm not feeling this one. Maybe it's just because there's just, yeah, there's just too many colors going on here. We have the, the dark navy blue, the gray of the hull. Like we have a couple of different shades of gray on the hull. We have the red pinstriping. Then we got these green accents all over the place. I, I think it's just a little bit too much for this ship. Um, yeah, you might like it. Again, it is all subjective. <laughs> Next shield. The Omega Shield Array. Or as I like to call it lately, it's been kind of the steampunk of the shields. Um, this one, 
I don't know if I'm getting that steampunk vibe. Like, I, I kind of like... This detail here is cool. Um, but yeah, no, this one doesn't really... It's It doesn't catch your eye in any way, really. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the next one. The Iconian Shield Array. With all the flames, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not my favorite either. There is worse shields though. It changed the lighting here to yellow. Uh, don't really notice the deflector too much, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these flames. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Next one. Speaking of worse shields. <laughs> this is that Breen shield that we love so much. Um, yeah, this is just bad. I'm going to go around it for the sake of going around it. Uh, next shield. The Terran Task Force shield array. This one looks nice, actually. I really like it. Um... I can't put my finger on it exactly. I think I've tried to describe why I like the shield on some ships, uh, especially some of the Discovery ships. Um, it's got the lighting that kind of you kind of get, like the effects that you get in the TV show. Uh, but yeah, it's I don't know. It's just it's a nice shield. It's uh, really sleek looking. I like it. Next, the Romulan shield array. Much green. Nah. I have nothing good to say about it, nor do I have anything bad to say about it. It's just, it just is. <laughs> Next shield. Now for the fun part. So here's the assimilated shield array. Um, this is how it looks on the McGee. And now, let's see how it looks like with the three piece. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the engine. So we got this little... We got this little pod here. It kind of seems to be... I don't know. It's It doesn't seem to kind of fit with the ship itself. Um, this part actually kind of makes sense. Um, it almost looks like it's sitting like directly over top of this, uh, like I want to call it a vent almost. Um, so it seems like it would actually kind of make sense there. Uh, now the deflector on... <laughs> the deflector is clipping really bad into the bottom of the hull of the ship. Um, I mean... Yeah, I, I I don't know. You can leave your thoughts in the comment section below what you think. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's 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 weird. That that's weird. And that's all the shields that I have. I know I'm missing some vanity shields, and you're probably eagerly waiting me for me to finish the T6 rep vanity shields. Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, I've been a little bit more active on YouTube, so. Um, yeah, it's, I, I don't have excuses, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And I do have a personal goal of hitting 10k subscribers. Uh, I'd like to hit it by the end of the year. Um, I'd really like to hit it even sooner. Uh, it's just, I, I kind of want to move forward with this, with this channel and grow it. And I don't know, I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, I, I really hope you guys are enjoying the uh, almost weekly cinematic videos and these visual reviews and the extra gameplay videos that I've been doing. You can expect to see uh, some more Foundry videos, uh, especially with the announcement of Foundry uh, closing April 11th, which is sad, but oh man, it's yeah, I won't get, I already got into that in one video, so that's it. Anyway. Enough rambling. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.